Welcome back to another JGM Gaming video. In this video I'll be showing you how you can solo Blood Furnace as a level 60 Death Knight with starter gear fresh from the uh, Death Knight starting zone. You can probably do this at level 59 as well but 60 makes it a little bit easier. Here are the talents I'll be using, you can obviously slow down the video and copy these. Just a couple in Unholy here and uh, not in Frost. Uh, I'm also using no glyphs as well. So yeah, like I say, you could probably do this at 59. 60 just makes it a bit easier. Uh, just complete a couple of quests in Hellfire and then come here. So um, first of all, you'll take these two guys at the entrance. Uh, just death grip one over. Uh, apply your icy torch and plague strike. Uh, then you want to use your pestilence to pass on your diseases to the other um, mob. And then basically just death strike and death coil uh, to burn them down. Weave in some blood strikes, keep your diseases up, rune tap when it's available, and uh, save your runes for death strike as well because that's how you're going to regenerate your health as well as the blood worms that will spawn. And you shouldn't have too much of an issue with this. This was my first run here. I did die a few times. It's a little bit sloppy in places, but uh, it becomes a lot smoother. Uh, once you get the hang of it, so don't worry if you die a few times, that's perfectly normal. And you can just obviously run back in, carry on from where you were, and work your way through uh, up until the room where the first boss is. And then run out and reset. And I'll just show you the sort of method of my first run here, and, and how you can copy that to solo this yourself. Uh, I am going to attempt this as a duo as well, to just to see how much easier that makes it. So I'll, uh, I'll post that in an upcoming video. Um, I need to put this food on my action bars. Uh, you can also use the special brew that you get from the Death Knight starting zone as a potion here, and you will loot potions. Make sure your mind freeze this imp uh, if it tries to cast fireball on you, because they can hurt at these lower levels. So you just want to death grip it in close. As you'll see here, death grip it in, icy touch, plague strike, wait for the other two to get close, spread your diseases with pestilence, and then go into your rotation with death strike. Like I said, I was still kind of getting used to this here, so I do make some mistakes. Uh, obviously, weave in your cooldowns, vampire blood, maybe mark of uh, death, just to keep your health topped up. I do need to keybind that cooldown as well. I did click that there. And these should go down pretty easy once you get the hang of it and you shouldn't really have any issues with uh, killing these guys and obviously just repeat the same process here for the other two packs in this room. Just the exact same thing. You can also summon the ghoul once you've got one of these down to make it a little bit easier and add a little bit more DPS. Um, I will say if you do struggle these initial packs you can use your chains of ice to sort of kite one of the mobs while you fight the other um, but I didn't find that necessary but um, you may want to do that to help out a little bit if you're having some trouble maybe if you're level 59 and it's a little bit a little bit tougher to do I don't know kind of experiment with it and see how it works for you so I'm just gonna let the video play a little bit here. Uh, it's like I say, just the same process. Get the M down first. Don't let him cast on you, and um, keep your health topped up with Death Strike and Rune Tap. So yeah, I'm just gonna speed this up as we uh, kill these next couple of packs. Okay, once you've got those down, uh, these next two guys are really simple again, just the same as the first two mobs that we encountered when we entered the dungeon, nothing special here, just uh, two normal mobs, they don't run away from you when you get them low health, so it's easy to kill, just spread your diseases, keep them up, keep them ticking, bloodworms doing the work, getting the health back, death strike, getting the health back, if you need to use your mark of blood, or you also have vampiric blood, uh, both 
really good for regenerating health if you find yourself in a bit of a sticky situation. I do get into a sticky situation at the top of these stairs where the rogues are, and I'll explain that in a second when we get there. So we got that guy down. Nice XP, 3.8k per kill, as you can see. This is unrested, of course, and this is at level 60. So um, I would say if you're, if you're doing this fast, you're probably getting a level per hour, roughly. Um, you might go to sort of a, a level per hour and a half into the later levels. Uh, that remains to be seen. That would be my guess. Okay, so... Almost got this guy down. Die. Okay. So we're just gonna heal up here because these rogues on the stairs and at the top of the stairs can cause you some problems and preferably you want to fight them one on one. I do accidentally get two on me here, so it is doable. It's it can be difficult if they get the stacks on you. Um, it stacks up to four, I believe, and it just chunks your health away. So I like to run diagonally along these stairs and try and get the rogue that can be on these stairs. I don't think I get him in this attempt, um, but like I said, I do get the two at the top of the stairs, which always seem to be here. So there seems to be one on the left and one on the right. So I do pull both there, as you can see. Um, and you can see on the right hand side I've got the dot on me and that does damage over time see so if you do get two just pop as many cooldowns as you can really and, and try and degress them down as fast as you can you don't want that stack uh, on you for very long it will kill you and it will um, take your health faster than you can eat <laughs> so we do manage to get them down there so it is doable but Preferably fight them one-on-one. -on -one. You can see it chunking my health away here. So, the next two mobs, again, are the same as the bottom of the stairs. Nothing special. Just fight them both at the same time. Spread your diseases on them. And then we'll take the warlock in the room behind. Um, when he gets to this position here, we can death grip him. And fight him on his own as well. So let's just uh, regenerate some health here and take these two guys at the doorway and then we're in the uh, second to last room so we can clear this room ahead and then the corridor after this and that's pretty much as far as we can go right now um, because there are three mobs at a time in the next room, we can't fight that. So we're just doing the same things here, Icy Touch, Plague Strike, Pestilence and get some death strikes in there to regenerate health. Rune taps if you need to. And obviously popping cooldowns if necessary. And we've always got the potions on hand if uh, something goes a little bit wrong. So it's pretty safe. Uh, just maybe practice a few times and you'll get the hang of it. Like I say, this was my first run. I did die a few times there. But now that I'm familiar with it, I'm not dying at all. So there we go, that's the first guy down, move on to this guy, I do let my diseases fall off. Um, if you do have glyphs, the glyph of disease is a really good one because that uh, will refresh the diseases on both targets when you use pestilence. So I would highly recommend glyph of disease, like I say I wanted to do this with no glyphs just to show that it is um, easily doable. Um, yeah, I, you can pick it up fairly cheap on the auction house. I can't remember how much I paid. Maybe like 10 gold or something. It's, it's really cheap. So yeah, Glyph of Disease. Definitely get that. And then obviously at level 62, uh, this becomes easy. You get Icebound Fortitude, which increases, uh, sorry, reduces the damage you take by 30%. Uh, so that's a nice call down for um, tough situations as well. So we're just fighting the Warlock on his own here, trying not let him cast on you, not that it really matters because it's a one-on-one, -on -one. but yeah, just trying to silence him. Uh, same same rotation again really, um, death strikes, and get your plagues on there, your diseases. And then we're back to the mobs with the imps, 
Uh, I find these a little trickier actually than the first room. I don't know if they are high level, I haven't looked, but um, you may want to use the, the kiting method that I mentioned in the previous uh, room with the chains of ice to fight one at once. But see how you go with it. Just get the imp down first again as always. And then move on to these guys. Again, you can use Raise Dead to make this room a little easier. And get yourself a ghoul pet to help. So, I'll probably speed this up again because it's just three packs of the same thing. Just taking down the imp and then the two two summoners with him. Two, um, not summoners, sorry, uh, what are they? Adepts. Shadow Moon Adepts. Okay, let me speed this up a little while I go to the next room. Okay, so in this corridor, these legionnaires will berserk when they get lower health, so you want to focus those first, in my opinion. Just obviously using the same uh, abilities that you've used on all the others, it's pretty much the same, just that they will berserk and get attack speed and they can hurt you a little bit more. But I wouldn't say it's anything really to worry about. So you have these two here, and then the next two that you can see just ahead of me, and then you can't go further than that as far as I'm aware. Maybe at high level, but at level 60 I don't believe you can. Um, if you can get further than that then let me know, I'd like to see. I get a little bit low on health here, as you can see, because he berserks or enrages, but uh, it's not too much of an issue. Um, I am using Frost Stance for this, by the way. Um, if you do need to regenerate health, it might be wiser to switch to Blood Stance. Um, I, can, I can do pop a potion here just to heal me back up a little bit. So we get this guy down. And then the final two before we can run out and reset. Oh, the gold here is not amazing, by the way. Um, I wouldn't really say this is a decent gold farm it's more of an XP farm so let's just get to full health and take these last two you can see up ahead there uh, there's packs of three uh, they're the ones that I don't believe we can take just yet uh, you probably will be able to do with a duo and like I say I will bring that video out I'll try this with a duo see how much easier it makes it see whether it makes it faster better XP in terms of time or not, we'll we'll find that out, and we'll see how far you can take this, and maybe even try the first boss. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, let's get this final guy before we go out and reset. Focus the legionnaire again because of the enrage, and I'll just speed this kill up as well. Let's just get this guy down and then that's it. We will run out and reset and that's pretty much a full solo clear, as far as you can solo clear at least, with a level 60 death knight with the starting gear and no glyphs. So uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.